so yes i am now a doctor i still don't feel like it i still need to go to the hospital to feel like i am a doctor but yes so this is a story about the exam the final exam which eventually made me a doctor let's find out hey there i am subhav ramnani well dr subhav ramnani i can say i guess the guy who is mad about medicine just like you and i recently passed my final year medical school exams so this is more like a story video on how i control my anxiety levels before the exam the weight of the exam the post exam thoughts and how the exam was and actually what the exam was so let me tell you everything starting first with the format of the exam so the exam format was like this we had three subjects surgery obstetrics gynecology and medicine my favorite and we had practicals for these three subjects as well as an oral exam for these three subjects so the practical was in the morning around 11 am in a university hospital whereas the oral exam was around lunch time in the university so we had some break in between so we had uh, these exams split into two parts you can say the practical exam and the oral exam so let me first walk you through the practical exam which was in the morning around 11 am and as i said in the university hospital so we were given this practical questionnaire so it had all the questions which could be asked and we had to do that practical for example in medicine we had ecg checking the pulse and what all i don't even remember the questionnaire right now but there were a lot of questions from each subject and i'll surely tell you what which questions did i get so we had to perform these practicals on you know um, in armenian we call it molash so i think i can say robots or i don't know i am not getting the word right now so the first one was a medicine practical and obviously it was the first out of all the six exams so we had three practicals for three subjects and three oral exam for three subjects so the first one was practical of medicine so the anxiety levels were obviously at a uh, 10 on 10 but i managed to control it since we had this questionnaire and we knew the practical questions are from these and they will not ask anything else they can ask a little bit about uh, you know generally about the topic for example the practical is ecg they can ask you know uh, stuff about each ecg the enthoven's triangle and what all i was confident in that but the weight of the exam uh, that was the main thing i had given previous exams way under prepared and way more confident than this because the weight of the exam matters a lot because in this exam it was a one time shot you cannot fail it if you fail you repeat a year if you pass you become a doctor there are only two ways yes they give you marks but do they really matter in your future in residency applications not really but yeah i wanted to get a good mark a high mark which i got and uh, i wanted to pass first of all because failure would lead to repeat the whole year so the weight of the exam was a lot and all the anxiety was just because of that not because i don't know something i had prepared everything i could i had revised everything i could but yeah the weight of the exam was a lot to take so before the before we entered the room for our medicine practicals me and a group of friends we quickly discussed our questionnaire for medicine and you know uh, okay so pulse we will check here here carotid pulse temporal pulse everywhere and all and we uh, just in our minds we did all the practicals discussed with it discussed it with each other and then i went into my medicine practical and i got uh, checking pulse so i got the easy practical there were uh, more difficult ones like the ecg like they give you a print out of an ecg and you have to tell everything about it and obviously diagnose the condition uh, so that was one of the tougher ones but i got the easier one i was happy i was like okay i have to check the pulse i told them all the points and everything was fine uh, so the medical practice medicine practical uh, went pretty easy and then we went to uh, obstetrics and gynecology 
So again, we had the same strategy, me and my friends, and also uh, every person in our group. We are a group of thirteen people. We were giving the exam together. So we quickly discussed before entering the room for obstetrics and uh, gynecology practical. We quickly discussed in our minds, you know, okay, uh, for Pap smear we'll do this. We'll take this equipment. We'll take a slide and what all the the speculums. We'll take the name of the speculum, the same speculum and uh, what all. I don't want to remember everything right now. But we discussed everything, and the same thing happened with the obstetrics gynecology practical. I I got a vaginal uh, smear and it also went pretty smoothly and when you nail down two exams you're like okay two out of six done I'm doing good it'll all be fine you've prepared it you know you are al- always um, talking to yourself calming yourself down so let me tell you straight forward out of all these three subjects I was only worried about surgery I don't know why maybe you know I'm I didn't uh, do surgery well in my uh, these clinical years or something I was not very uh, confident about surgery I had done everything I had revised everything no doubt about that but you know the seniors also said you know surgery the teachers ask you this that so because of all that information floating in my head uh, surgery was the one I was scared about and that was the our last practical So literally, um, I went into surgery practical, and there were a lot of things. There was suturing. There was um, obviously tying knots. A um, uh, lot of procedures and uh, injection, etc. and etc. And uh, we again had practiced all of these. And actually, I also took out my shoelace. uh a few days before my exam and i was practicing uh, tying the knot because i was really i uh, still am really bad at it i would say but yeah i i get the job done but yeah um so i was really scared i i hope i don't get uh, you know the difficult ones and all so what i got was was a surprise to me as well i got x ray so there were a bunch of x rays uh, there and i had to pick one so i was asking the teacher you know uh, just to, to give me one extension she was like just pick one so what i did was i was uh, looking at the x-ray and i was like no not this not this and she was like no no just pick one randomly and then look at it so yeah so she gave me one uh, randomly our respected dean and i went um, and i looked at the x-ray and i was like okay everything looks good i think i know this and um, it was uh, actually air under the diaphragm so some perforated ulcer of the stomach or duodenum something like that so the x ray was air under the diaphragm um, so when my turn came i went up and i was like air under the diaphragm and that's it my practical surgery practical was done and i was so scared about it and actually it was the you know uh, i don't know easiest but it was the shortest practical out of all these three so you know when you are scared about something and you know you have studied for it i i you know i realize that yes sometimes that part is seems to be the easiest when it comes to actually doing it i was scared the most about surgery and it turned out to be the easiest so yeah this was done uh, the practicals were done 3 out of 6 done and uh, everyone passed the practicals everyone was happy and now we had 1 hour of break and half an hour we had uh, we were given commute time to reach to the um, our medical school because there was the oral exam so around 12 to 1 we had break and 1:30 we had oral exam so uh, many people directly went to the uh, medical university they started studying and obviously everyone was tense because this was the main exam the oral exam which would which could make or break it for you as i said the weight of the exam was a lot if you pass it well and good you come out of the exam hall uh, with the sense of feeling that you are a doctor and if you fail it you come out with a sense of feeling uh, like a very i don't know very bad sense of feeling i don't want to remember i, I don't want to imagine that but like you repeat the year 
so yeah it was uh, the weight of the exam uh, caught up to all of us and me and two of my friends uh, we were sitting in the canteen of the hospital just you know uh, replenishing our body with some fluids and uh, food so there are two types of people i will tell you uh, one who cannot eat or drink anything before an exam and one who need to eat or drink something before an exam and i am the latter and let me know which uh, which one are you let me know down in the comments are you the one who just cannot eat anything before an exam like you will vomit if you eat something or are you the one who needs something like i need some chocolate before entering the exam hall or something like that so i am like that um, and that's why i get fat during my exam season and not the other way around uh, stress eating so i went to the canteen with two of my friends we took some buckwheat some you know healthy food so we were like we shouldn't get nervous diarrhea or something like that all these things were going on in our head and apart from that all this tension about the oral exam so we had our food we uh, went to the university and as i said many people had already reached university some people were studying in their homes and then they came to the university so uh, as we reached the university the you know we were in the end game it was like now it's getting real now the time has come i have been preparing like okay the syllabus is all of medical school basically the three clinical years but i have been actively preparing for this exam for the last 5 uh, to 6 months and it all boils down to this if you get this you're good to go so the weight of the exam yes uh, catching up catching up catching up and uh, i was one of the first ones to enter i was i think the fifth one to enter the exam hall for uh, my oral exam but before that so how i controlled my anxiety actually there were a lot of people uh, in the corridor i would say uh, and the in the end there was a door to the exam hall and people were studying with their books walking down and at that point i was like i'm not studying anything new and i was like just don't ask me anything related related to the exam because if i hear something or if someone asks me you know something related to the exam and god forbid if i don't remember it that time my confidence level would go from here to here so i was confident and i wanted to go in the exam hall confident like even if i don't know the answer to something i wanted that i should confidently say something about the topic or if they ask me some cross questions i should confidently say everything so my main was like uh, the preparation phase is done the presenting phase is starts now so all i want is to just present myself confidently i don't want to look uh, under prepared i don't want to look under confident so yeah so i refrain from all these uh, talks about exams some people asking oh what what have you prepared for uh, stomach ulcer what have you prepared for normal labor something something like that so actually i was talking about games some xbox playstation something like that just before entering the exam so basically i was doing everything but revising anything and uh, you know uh, thinking about anything but the exam and um, and my turn came i went in um, confidently and also the person who came out of the exam hall i just uh, he was my friend he's my friend and i just looked at him he was smiling so i was like okay he did well and i didn't want you know someone to come out of the exam exam hall sad so because that would be like oh they are taking it very strictly and again it would affect my confidence level so i was refraining from everything as soon as my friend came out of the exam hall i just looked at him he was smiling and i went in i did not ask him how did your exam go i was like let me finish mine and then we'll talk about it so i went in um i picked up a chit uh, which had these questions for my exam and i was given some time to prepare um and i got three questions one from medicine one from uh, uh, surgery one from obstetrics gynecology so we had six questions we had to choose three so i think uh, i went by the order uh, first was surgery second was medicine and third was obstetrics gynecology uh, you could say your answers in any order but i was like okay i, I know all these so i'll just go by the order so in surgery i got uh, 
uh, sequel of uh, gastric surgery which was dumping syndrome uh, surgery went well um, the teachers asked some cross questioning uh, they wanted to know what was written in our university book and thankfully i had re- i remembered everything and yes uh, i told them everything surgery went good it went smoothly they asked me a name of an operation uh, conversion of bilrod 2 to bilrod 1 I don't think so it's anywhere in our book but yeah uh, that was a cross question I got stuck on and but everything else went smoothly uh for medicine I can say uh, it was as good you know as perfect as I can imagine I answered all cross questions I answered the uh, question which was uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis um, I answered everything all went smoothly and then came obstetrics and gynecology <laughs> so uh i had prepared everything but the questions i got in obstetrics gynecology were not that great because you know uh sometimes you can get questions uh for example you can get appendicitis i can talk uh, a lot about appendicitis in surgery than let's say splenic cyst i can talk but you know i can finish my answer very quickly because uh because appendicitis is a big topic so in that way uh, again in obstetrics gynecology i can talk a lo- lot about uh, physiological changes in pregnancy uh, or something like contracted pelvis or normal labor something like that stds but uh, the both of the questions i got were pretty you know small topics so i was scared you know they they would ask me a lot of cross questions and that is what happened i chose um, so my questions was non neoplastic enlargements of the ovary so follicular cysts uh, uh, luteal cysts etc and etc so i said everything which was in the book uh, uh, by shaw gynecology uh, i said everything and then started the cross questions and uh, i can say they uh, i was like they tested me a lot in cross questions and that's why you know uh, comparatively obstetrics gynecology oral exam was less uh, perfect i would say it was not bad it was uh, above like good and very good but it was not as good as surgery in medicine for sure uh, so yeah but that also happened uh, but the f- the thing was when i was writing down my questions i knew okay sabha you got this you know all these questions minimum you are pass you cannot answer cross questions that's another thing you will get a low mark okay but you are pass you are getting out of the exam hall as a doctor so i maintain my confidence levels like that and uh, yeah so thankfully i did good i uh, i was among the toppers of my batch and uh, everything went well and uh, there was a you know slight smirk on my face a smile on my face as soon as i went to the podium to for my answers and I, as soon as i exited the exam hall both of these time i was like i was confident uh, before starting my answers i was confident i had maintained my levels because i said i know the answers i have written it down i have written down the points and and all so minimum i'm passing i'm i'm not failing today and uh, when i went out of the exam hall i was pretty confident that um, i would pass with good marks so yeah that feeling was uh, amazing uh, you get that feeling only once only once i would be um, in this exam which which would you know determine a uh, student and doctor the line between that uh, this exam was to cross that line obviously there's lot more to do uh i still don't know anything um in the hospital i have to do my internships externships clerkships etc what all to still get a feeling of being a doctor but yeah theoretically yeah <laughs> you can say that uh, i have the i'll get the doctor's degree so this was all my feelings uh, rumble of feelings uh, after my final exam and yes as soon as i went out uh some of my friends who had already given the exam we were happy we were discussing you know uh what questions did we get how did we answer stuff like that the things that happen after the exam we were all happy i called my family uh some of them were crying 
that you know i have um, achieved this milestone and i and that feeling did not still you know sink in in me that i have crossed that line of a student and a and a doctor i i was still feeling i was like normal okay i passed an exam i was i was happy but you know uh, that feeling that it it still did not sink in but after a couple of days when i was relaxing at home i was like i don't have anything to study like apart from my anki obviously which i did every day even on the day of the exam apart from that i was like what should i do should i play games should i watch youtube and i know many of you would be so jealous hearing this right now but yeah so after your final exam life is like that uh, you want to relax you need to relax because 5 to 6 months you have uh, literally studied to the level of burning out you have studied to your maximum potential uh, you are carrying so much weight so much pressure of the exam and this is a much uh, needed and a much deserved break uh, we all need uh, we all get after our final exam so yeah that was it uh, and yeah it was a really great experience and i wish my juniors all the best for their exam and uh, they can now ask me anything about the exam if they wish to and i'll help you guys in any way possible So yeah that was about it my experience about my final exam and if you like this video if you like this story type uh, of uh, videos then let me know down in the comments below and also let me know down which type of person you are the person who just cannot eat or the person who eats a lot before an exam so yeah that's been it uh, i'll see you in the next video and maybe it will be another story time video a graduation vlog maybe we'll see and don't forget to like the video subscribe i think i've already said this but yeah uh, i i don't remember what i say in the end my outro i don't know why i've been speaking a lot so yeah stay safe yeah stay safe stay healthy and stay happy but just about medicine